What's up guys? My name is Felipe. I am the product coordinator here at FieldTech USA and we're here today to talk about our Sportsman 450 and 550 harness. So this is a great solution for you guys that likes carburetors like I have, we have a perfect example behind me. It's Ken's car, a good friend of mine from Orlando. I want to show you guys the installation process of this harness which is pretty simple and I'm gonna go through the harness real quick for you guys so you can see the features the harness come out of the box. So this is a terminated harness. We have provisions already for fuel injection if you want to change swap for fuel injection later or do you want to extra outputs for like, let's say nitrous. Do you want to put a solid state relay for progressive nitrous? Do you want to an extra output for a two-step uh, trans brake, you name it, you can do it. It's right here. You have ignition um, outputs as well. If you want to put a um, single coils or do you want to plug to a CDI box, you can do it. It's right here. Just put put the other side of the terminal, and you know it's going to be running. Another nice feature on the Sportsman harness is the nano switch wire. What this thing does uh, does is if you guys want to keep the ECU running while the car is off. You guys can always cut the wire here and run a separate switch to heat it up the, the L2 sensors separately from the ECU. We have a nice CPC connector, it goes on the far wall, so it makes a very clean installation. This goes from inside the car, this goes from outside the car. You just unscrew here and take all the harness away. You know, it's very easy, very clean. It already comes with, for two nanos, two uh, L2 sensors, engine temp, oil pressure sensor, fuel pressure sensor, Transmission temperature, crank signal, VR and hall, and cam sync, VR and hall. Also, we have here a CAN bus already ready to go. If you want to add the EGT, it's already here. So, it, you know, it's a, it makes a simple installation. It's very easy. Two wires going through the battery, positive in ground, and a key hot to feed the, four, the 450 or the 550, and you'll be ready to go. Config the issue the, the, the way you want, and it's going to be running easy enough. So guys, I forgot to explain something very important about this harness. This harness just works in conjunction with our ECU. It's the brain behind the whole thing. Do you have a badass car with a lot of power and problems with traction? The kind of problem that I like to have? The 450 and 550 have a feature that calls active traction control. It's gonna help you to put all the power to the ground. So this unit have the power to control the whole engine like in this case, boost control, timing, three step, it's a complete 100% customizable dashboard and the feature, feature they like the most, data logging. And the 550 here have the same features than the 450 plus more inputs and outputs. So let's say if you want to go fuel injection, coil unplug, progressive nitrous, uh, drive-by wire throttle body, you name it, you have it here. And right here we have our Nano. This little box reads and tells you the air fuel mixture. Okay, now you guys know a little about our products. They control the whole package. Let's go back to installation video. So guys, I've been working on a car already, trying to find the best location for the ECU inside the car. I already find my spot on, this, on the firewall for the CPC connector and uh, find the correct spot for the sensors that I like it. Each application is different, so if you guys want to find the correct spot for you, you know, you think it's best in this way, this way, you know, it doesn't matter. Any application is different. And uh, I'm going to start with my white band right now. I'm going to put on a, an exhaust. I already have a, a bung welded and go from there. So this is a very simple process. It's just a 7 8 and remember to weld the bung at least 15 degrees angle. It's best for the white band to read. And the goal here in this particular case is to have a very clean installation. As you can see, this car is a, it's a show car. So we're trying to hide everything you can. But it doesn't need to be that way, of course. If you guys want to just run the wires the way you guys want and prefer, that's fine. Okay, so now guys, I'm gonna put the inside part of the harness. I already have the hole on my firewall that I made for my CPC connector. I'm gonna plug my nano and ECU connector inside the car and then run my power grounds and my, my key hot wire and be ready to go. Now 
this is the tricky part. Maybe some yoga. Okay, so like I said for you guys before, the sportsman harness already have a connector for the crank trigger and uh, fits perfect on the MSD crank wheel, crank trigger wheel or uh, MSD distributor, it's plug and play. So now, now that I have my CPC connector already plugged in on the firewall, I'm gonna run our VR crank signal on the um, MSD, on the MSD crank trigger wheel. I'm gonna run my O2 sensor on my Nano. We already put the O2s before. I'm just gonna plug on the harness. Okay, so now I'm gonna plug my fuel pressure sensor wire on my fuel pressure. And run our oil pressure sensor that I already set up right here. And I still need to find a spot for my water temp, which I have a plug on the back of the intake. Then I'm gonna pull the plug and put the sensor. It's a GM style sensor. And also a cool feature, this harness have extra inputs. So I'm gonna run a, a pen vac here. So I'm gonna use the extra input connector. I already made the pigtail for it and run from the sensor through our connector inside the car. To be able to control the ignition this car, I'm gonna use our ignition expansion connector right here that's built in on the harness. And in this particular case, he have a MSD 6L box and a single MSD coil. So I'm gonna run the number one ignition gray wire to the white wire on the MSD box. And you can also run this connector for uh, smart coils as well. To complete our installation, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hook up our switched power to feed the fuel tank when the key is hot, key is on, and that's it. After this, we're gonna set up everything and, and fire up. Also, with the, uh, the, with the 450 and 550, it comes with a vacuum hose, so it's a map for map signal. This goes behind the fuel tank 450 and goes in a manifold vacuum port on the motor. Okay guys, so the job is complete, the harness is installed, everything is configured, the car is running great. Let's fire up and show it for you how it sounds. Mm -hmm. 